let's open the terminal so open terminal to install Oracle database we need a user called Oracle and the group O install let's see if we have the user Oracle and the group O install okay let's check it how do we check it we can check it in multiple ways but I will use the command get ENT okay get ENT pass WD and the user which I am looking for is Oracle okay yes Oracle user exists and now let me check for the group O install get ENT group O install okay that's good O install group is there Oracle user is there so I'll be using this Oracle user to install Oracle database okay so now let's see what are all the various folders in the operating system okay these are all the folders now let's assign the ownership of these folders to the user Oracle so we can do that using the CH owner which means change owner CH owner hyphen capital R so we want it to assign to Oracle user group O install so let's change it for the directory u01 so I changed it and now I'm changing it for disk 1 let me change it for disk 2 and then let me change it for OPT so I changed the owners for these folders to Oracle user and group O install okay now let me change the mode of slash u01 so for that it is ch mode hyphen capital R so we'll give 751 slash u01 so I've changed the permissions for the folder u01 so now let's set the password for the user Oracle so the command is PASSW so which means password so for Oracle user so now let me enter the password I'm just mentioning my password as Oracle to keep it simple but real environment it is not that simple you need to give some complicated password so that the other users cannot hack it okay so okay so now I have updated my Oracle password so now let me switch my profile to Oracle user so su hyphen Oracle so now I am logged in as Oracle now let's set up the environmental variables related to Oracle so for that let's edit the file bash profile so vi space dot bash underscore profile here let's mention all our environmental variables okay so the first one export oracle underscore sid so let's call that as prod okay Cap small letters and then export capital letter oracle base equal to so let's use u01 okay u01 slash app slash oracle and then let's export one more variable oracle home so u01 slash app slash oracle slash product slash 11.2.0 okay and now let me export this path okay equal to oracle underscore home slash bin colon
path. Now let's save the file. Escape colon wq exclamation mark. We have successfully set the environmental variables. So now let's run this bash profile so that all the parameters are set. So dot space dot bash underscore profile. Okay, it is run. So now let's get the Oracle software and start installing it. I have my software on my Windows machine. So how do we get the software from the Windows operating system to the Linux operating system? For that, we can set up a shared drive between Windows and Linux operating system. Okay, for that, go to VM, go to settings, and then options, here shared folders, it's disabled, let's enable it. So, click on enabled, add, next, and then my software is on desktop, it is here, software, and click, OK. So this folder I am sharing with the Linux operating system. So click next and click finish and then click OK. So now let's connect to that shared folder. So to access that shared folder we need to use cd which is change directory to mnt mount slash hgfs. OK. You see software. This is the folder which was shared with us from the Windows operating system. Now let me go into this software. Okay. And you see, these are the two zip files which we need to install Oracle database. Since these are zip files, let's unzip them. So to unzip, let's use the command unzip. Okay. Unzip and then let me select this file name copy it and then I am pasting it and let me unzip it to the folder opt ok space slash opt so it's unzipping the first file once it is finished let's unzip the second file so the first file is unzipped so now let's unzip the second file so Okay, unzip, let me select it. To the same folder slash opt. And now the second file is being unzipped. So the second file is also unzipped. So now let's clear this screen using clear and then let's go to the opt folder. Okay, it's backslash. Okay, and you see the database folder is created in the opt folder. So let's go to database folder and then check the files. You see run installer. That is the file which we need to start installation of the Oracle database. From here, the job of a Oracle database administrator start. Till here, it was all Linux administrator who was doing all the installation for you. From now, you are the one who is be installing the Oracle database and managing it. Okay, so to run this installer, let me open another terminal. So let's run the command xhost plus. We are executing this command so that whenever we run the run installer, it pop ups the graphical user interface. Okay. So now let's go back to the other terminal and then run the run installer. sh run install. So now the Oracle Universal Installer is being opened. It's opening. Let me switch to the full screen mode. And then here if you want to receive any security updates, you can mention your email and Oracle support password. Right now we will uncheck this because we don't want to receive any updates and then click next it says you will miss all the critical information click yes and then here say skip 
software updates for right now but if you are working in an organization mention your oracle support username and password provided for your organization so that regularly you receive the software updates okay now click next so if you want to create and configure a database then obviously you select this option if you want to just install the database software then you use this option and if you want to upgrade an existing database you use this option now we want to just install the database software we can configure the database later so we will select this option click next and then we want the single instance database installation if it is a rack environment then obviously you will choose this real application clusters database installation if it is rack one node database installation we will use this since our desktops or laptops are not rack environments we will say it is single instance database installation and click next and then English is the selected language that's okay click next and then we are in we are installing the enterprise edition that's fine click next and this is the oracle base folder this is the software location you remember these were the folders which we mentioned in the environmental variables so that's fine click next and this is the inventory directory that's fine and this is the group name which is o install that's good next so the database administrator group change it to o install and then the database operator group change it to o install click next now it is performing all the necessary checks to install the software so once it meets all the necessary requirements it gives you the information here it says this is a prerequisite condition to test whether the system has at least 1 GB of total physical memory expected value 1 GB and actual value 985.35 it's MB it's almost close so let's ignore this warning because it's almost close okay so let's click on ignore all click next and then it is showing us the summary and now let's click install and now the installation has started The installation is going on it will take a while at least it will take 20 minutes to install this the installation is still going on so the installation is almost coming to the end it is asking us to execute couple of scripts so let's execute them so let's copy that and then go to the root as a root let's execute them okay we have successfully executed that script so now let's go to the second script and then execute it so we have successfully executed those two scripts okay and now then let's come here and click okay so the installation of Oracle database is successful good congratulations so now let's close this okay now let's see how it went okay let me clear so let's go to u01 okay so we have app folder and we have oracle okay we have product so this is the folder 11.2.0 and that is the oracle version okay we have almost all the files necessary for the oracle database all the network information will be stored in the network folder we have dbs where our init.ora file will be there and then the bin which contains the binary files and the log for the log files like that each folder is for a different purpose okay so so far we have installed only the 
Oracle software. In the next session, we'll create the database. Okay?